Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is the Dev Gabe here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys uh, how to get the tool Shift Lock to equip when you are equipping your tools, and when you unequip it, it will unequip Shift Lock when you unequip the tool. So it's very easy to do. I have the the um the code in the description, and just paste in a local script. You can call this local script shift lock on tool equip on under the tool. And I have it un, under this tool as well, shift lock on tool equip. Go into this uh, shift lock script and uh, paste in the code that I put in the description. And uh, next, you want to disable shift lock. In general, so you don't have two shift locks running at the same time. So you go into starter player, and then you go under um, right here, enable mouse lock option, and then you tick that off. So it's on by default, but take take it off. So that will make it so the shift lock is not equipped from the um, so you can't have shift lock from the player, and we have a custom shift lock. So shift lock will be disabled in the game. So now let's run the game and I'll show you guys the result. Ah, uh, yeah. I got the um, shift lock on and then shift lock off. And when we, when we go to the menu, we can see that shift lock is set by developers. So that means we can't enable it and disable. This will work with mobile players as well. They will also receive the shift lock um, thing and the camera will follow the character. Like this, when you uh, unequip it, you will disable it. You go between two and keep it on. When you die, it will disable it as well. So whenever you die, it will also disable. And whenever you go in the water, um, it will also disable it. Now it's, it's disabling in the water because if you didn't disable it in the water, it would be like you're running straight in the water it wouldn't have any animation because you're forcing the the character's torso to be straight so that's why we um you know what i mean on death we're not on death whenever you go in the water uh the shift lock will disable and whenever you get out of the water as you can see as soon as i jump out of the water the shift lock goes back enabled so this works perfectly and even when you go in and, and equip it as well um, yeah, so this will work with water is what I'm trying to say, because if you didn't, if you didn't have the, if you didn't have the thing that turned off the shift lock when you go in water, then it would, you know what I mean, it would be, um, it would be like no animation, you'll have no animation, you'll be walking in the water, so that's why we say we're that shift lock when we get in the water. And you might not have water in your game, so you don't even have to worry about that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Yeah, it's been some time since I last uploaded. And I hope that this uh, video was helpful for you guys. And I'll see you guys next time.